So this video is going to be an update on the Gossam Metrowatt Metrohit coil uh, motor testing multimeter that I've been using for a while now. First thing I've done is purchased a plastic case from Farnell and they now house the meter inside that, inside some shadow foam. Shadow foam is readily available in the UK and it's actually a, a solid foam as opposed to um, the, the pick out stuff that's kind of made in squares. You have to actually cut this one out with a knife um, and if you're good at it you can uh, get some quite snug fits. If you're like me uh, it's not so snug a fit but uh, it still works reasonably well. And the other thing that you'll notice is I've actually made up my own coil test adapter to go with the one that came with the instrument. Um, this is the problems that I've been having with. That I can't get readings on the motors that I've got with this adapter. I sent all the motor data and the tests that I've done off to Gossam Metrowatt asking them if they can supply me with a more suitable adapter and they've never ever come back to me on that. So I took uh, matters into my own hands and came up with this little box. So I'll demo this one now on just the coils of wire that I've got and I also tested on this one as well. Okay we're set up with the original coil test adapter just got the coils of wire that I was demoing the unit with beforehand and just to show that it is still working away that's the reading I get with the original adapter these are balanced coils more or less so Go on to the next one and the final one. So you can see they're quite well balanced, around about the 105. I'll swap this out for the other coil adapter. So this one actually has is a dual adapter that I've built up. So I have the option of using either the red plug, which is about 50%, uh, the yellow plug, which is about 60, or if I power them two up, I get to about 75%. So I'll do the red one first. So this should be somewhere around about uh, 52, 53 on the reading. There we go. Oh, naughty boy. Should be around about, yes, yeah, about 52 would be halfway, but we're on 54. Uh, we will just do all three. A similar sort of reading. And the final phase. And again, similar sort of setup. So we'll put him back here. And as I said, what I can do. That's on the 50%. If I parallel these two up, and then it should be around about 75%, so around about 80-ish uh, probably microseconds, 85. Eighty-six, and the final one, eighty-five again. Yep. So that's the homemade coil test adapter working. Um, in hindsight, and um, with all the testing that I've done, I'll probably change the 
circuit on this to bring this down a little bit lower and then I'll get closer to the 75% setting and this one will, I'll drop down to somewhere around about 30% uh, but I need to get hold of some more parts to do that. So I've been out testing this on some motors, same motors that I tested with the original one. I have been getting more readings with this and I'll put some videos up of those motors being tested. The videos aren't very good because the lighting wasn't very good in the motor stores but you can see the screen reasonably well uh, and you can see I'm starting to get readings. Some of the motors um, did produce slightly erratic readings with this especially when uh, you drop the settings down um, and other there's another 22 kilowatt motor that I still cannot get a reading from either from the old one or this one that I've made up uh, it just eludes me completely at this moment in time uh, but I'll stick those uh, videos up anyway